He'll, he'll lean in like this. All right. Hello. Hello. Welcome to um, Soda Pop Shit. Oh, we've, we've begun. Oh, it's exciting. Um, soda reviews and movie news. Um, as for the first time, I'm your host, Richard Martin. I'm joined by Alexander Jones. And uh, our special guest, Nick Jones. Hey. Uh, so, <sighs> what are we going to be talking about today, guys? First off, let's take a look at the week that has been in news. Okay. All right, this week it was announced that Catherine Langford of 13 Reasons Why has topped a list to play DC's Batgirl. Wow. Iron Maiden revealed a new brand of beer called Halloween. <laughs> uh, director Quentin Tarantino announced his engagement to his girlfriend, Daniela Pick. Fox scheduled six mystery X-Men movies through to March 2021. <laughs> Rick and Morty Season 3 finally got its release date. The latest season will be airing July 30th in the US... And Wonder Woman overtook Batman v Superman as the highest grossing film in the DCEU. That's good. That's great news. That is good news. I mm, thought you were going to say, um, yeah, the, the girl from 13 Reasons Why, you said she topped, and I thought you said she topped <laughs> herself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, wouldn't that be ironic? A true, yeah. a true method actor. Actually, Nick, you brought out something on the bus earlier today that, um, sorry to commandeer things, I don't know if you found this out, Richard, last week we mentioned that, uh, we briefly mentioned that Avatar 2 will be 3D without glasses. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, I, I need to preface this by saying... <laughs> Don't take my word for fact. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I've seen that that was a, a, a false news article, oh, really? just by the way. Um, so we're from, already... From the mouth of one of the biggest um, big wigs in Hollywood. Already um, from episode one, we're already not reporting the facts. Yeah, you're already fake news. <laughs> an update from a news story last week. Um, the Han Solo directors yeah. uh, being replaced. Chris Miller um, c- came close to speaking out on it. Um, he tweeted during the week, Situation normal. A reference mm. to Han Solo in um, A New Hope when he's yeah, like on the yeah. radio and he's like, situation normal. That's so. that's kind of sad, but also it makes me like him more. Yeah, but because oh, it's is like that ironic. The, is the that time. the guy playing him? No, that's, no, that's the, the guy. The directors that got fired. The guy playing him doesn't look like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> like he looks like a the son of a Jewish mother. Mm. He like, probably is. Probably. It's probably Jewish. Probably there's anything wrong with it? Probably. Um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> on to our top story. Okay. Spyro the Dragon PS4 Remaster. <laughs> and before we do that, we've got it's soda time. Ranch dressing soda. What you're all here for? Um, I don't have I've a heard it before a, you. A twist top. What, so, so you make sure like, the bacon falls a, to the thing? bottom. No. You don't. No. Woohoo! <laughs> Does anyone have a you lighter? Ah, it's that, it was that all along. All right, okay. Are you kidding? Problem solved. Are you kidding? <laughs> we, the, I've realized while I pour this... Are you going to introduce it? You just. Oh, this said... is ranch dressing soda. This is Lester's Fixin's ranch dressing sodas. Um, who's, soda. who's Lester? I don't want to know. It's not, it's not Lester from Fargo. No, well, I don't think so. It doesn't look like him, unless he like changed his... Got old yeah, and bald. Um, he did Richard's change realized work, the same so. thing I have, <laughs> that we don't have a big cup. Um... What, what do we need a big cup for? Just a big cup. Is yeah. there to, a, to, just always good to have a big cup. Is there a hidden reason for that? Um, um, well, there's, there's 13 reasons why. There's 13 reasons why we need a big cup. One of the main ones is it's an integral I part want of you to show. list out all 13 reasons now. Okay. Um, I'll right, think, I'm um, just going to smell this. We're going we're gonna to get a cup. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, let's, let's it do. smells like vinegar. Daffy oh. Duck once again comes to the rescue. Daffy Duck is our big cup. Give it Wait, up. No, 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 no. You need to smell oh. it. You need um, to smell it. Okay, so I'll as, smell it. As we always do on. Um, oh my god! <laughs> smells like vinegar, right? <laughs> um, on soda pop show, I'm going to pour one out for my boy, um, Prince's former drummer John Blackwell Jr., who died at the age of 43 after a battle with cancer. So, wow. pour one out for my boy. Oh, Esther we're drinking John Blackwell now. Jr. Yep. Oh, gosh. All right, ranch dressing soda. Here it is. Oh no, that's astonishing. No, that's not even bad. That's terrible. What are you talking about? Oh, no. no, what is it? <laughs> oh, it just hit me. There's bit. vanilla in there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vanilla. It's, Every- not, it's not a flavor I'd associate. Everyone's with everyone's favorite. Um, oh god, it, dressing with smell, ranch, of course. Vanilla. The smell is the worst part. This is the smell is the worst part. I've got a blocked nose. I don't <laughs> think I'd be able to smell it. It smells. It smells like ranch dressing, and tastes. Like vanilla. <laughs> yeah, it's it oh, tastes. Man. You know oh, what it tastes like? Me. It like, tastes like someone has like, 
gotten a bottle of ranch dressing and like sort of squirted it into some French vanilla ice cream and then like mixed it together. Oh man, no, it feels it's like, like now you've now my breath It feels like it's ah. it feels like it's doing bad things to It my feels stomach. it feels as if I threw up something sweet not long yes. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and that mo- <laughs> you know, that moment once or twice a year where you like accidentally throw up a little bit in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Well, that happens to me like, every day, but yeah. <laughs> no. I do that every day in my life. <laughs> um, you need to see right. a doctor about that. Let's go for our top story. Uh, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy was released on Friday to a very warm welcome, uh, with most stores selling out within 24 hours. As people welcome back their favourite Bandicoot into their lives, many can't help but wonder if the success of this game will lead to more Crash Bandicoot or even more remasters of beloved games from yesteryear. One name that has been thrown around a lot in the last week is Spyro the Dragon. Many news sources treated a remaster of the original trilogy as all but confirmed despite no concrete sources other than a general consensus of wouldn't it be cool. (laughs) Uh, The head of Activision... Well, wouldn't it? It would be. The head of Activision, the studio behind the Insane Trilogy, has said that the that its release may lead to something else, but has released no further comment. Okay. What do we think, guys? I've read a lot of articles that are saying, Spyro is happening because of this obscure like, tweet that someone said where he was like, they should do this. The Spyro Remastered Trilogy is the Bernie Sanders of PS4 games. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no inclination that it will be made, but everyone really wants it to be made yeah that's basically the news do you um so yeah i was thinking about this and i know it's natural to um <laughs> yeah well you've got to put another drink in there soon so you better, oh, okay. better finish it um <laughs> Hang on. Bet we did. <laughs> it's very natural to want a um spyro game especially after crash bandicoot especially after um and we're releasing a podcast on this tomorrow but especially after crash bandicoot actually did a pretty good job of of being (laughs) re-released um but do you think do you think (laughs) if they were to remaster spyro do you think they would do the whole trilogy like the first three games or just the first game because i don't know if the first if the whole trilogy is as iconic as the first three crash games no 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 I disagree with you there completely. Okay. Um, I, okay, first off, I don't really remember too much about the Spyro games as a whole other than, like, I enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. But what I do remember, and I remember it wasn't from the first one, was um, uh, one of them, all the the worlds were based off, like, the seasons. Yeah, that's the the third third one, yeah. And I loved that for some reason, Mm. just the, like, atmosphere of a different season for each world. So I think the, I reckon they'll, if they do remaster them it'll be the first three because they are pretty solid games yeah, I, I reckon it would go i mean because they did like it was one of those weird things where in my mind i always had crash and spyro they were like friends you know yeah, they were, yeah, they were yeah, together yeah. but then um it was one of those things i was like wait a minute no one else probably thinks this but then like they did um spyro orange and crash purple which were like Game Boy advance games where they um crossed they played in each other's world apparently they weren't very good but um it's like, yeah, it makes sense. They've kind of always gone hand in hand. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's Naughty Dog and Insomniac. So it's the same as like Jack and Dexter and Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Like they made equivalent games of each other. But I'm, I am I, I feel it's important to note that Spyro 1 actually came out at the same time as Crash Warped. So yeah. the third Crash game was when the first Spyro game came really? out. Really? Yeah. yeah. So they didn't go hand in hand one game for one game. It wasn't until the twilight of Crash's years that Spyro what, even came what into came it. came out at the same time as Crash then? Um, Super Mario 64 yes, yeah. Parappa the Rapper Parappa the Rapper where's God, his remaster that was like the worst game <laughs> I think it was the first game we ever played on Playstation 1 actually and it's probably where my distaste for rap began actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah Parappa the Rapper I think really ruined gangster rap you never heard of Parappa the Rapper no. so he was a what was he he was a little dog he was a dog, yeah. he was a little dog and the oh, game dog. the game was like um uh, a Simon Says type thing where you'd have to dance and do raps and press buttons to. You know the mini games that you get in some games where it's like it plays a tune and then you have to like hit the right, right buttons yeah, yeah. to get mm-hmm. the tune back. It was like Guitar that, but, Hero. For, but for a whole game. Oh, okay. um, and yeah. all I all I remember was the rap about like cooking, mm. like you had to like help like yeah. a chicken cook. Yeah, or everything like everything that. was very. Um, they they were well, made out of they made out of, of paper. They were, t- it were like 2D as in... It was very child friendly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And interestingly enough, Parappa the Rapper actually appeared in PlayStation All-Stars, the, the Super Smash Bros for the PlayStation that came out a few years ago. And Crash didn't. Crash did not. 
You that put is, Parappa the like, Rapper made it in. I, I've never played it, but that seems to me like the worst idea for a game. Like, <laughs> yeah. original stars. like it's it's bad. In, like, okay, industry industry talk here. Yeah, it's bad enough that most games struggle with what's called ludo narrative dissonance, which okay. is where gameplay and narrative don't connect. <laughs> um, <laughs> let alone a game that basically is just about ludo narrative dissonance, mm. which that's what that sounds like to me. That's you know? cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, um, he yeah, says as he's not interested. Kind of the, the no, no, I am interested. I'm trying to think of how to. <laughs> I yes, am interested. I just don't know what those words mean. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I think that the the main sort of thing that's come out of this that we also want to focus on is that there's no talk of anything that mm. confirms this in any way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 I would like it. Yeah. I mean, I, I crash. I mean, Spyro was as much a thing for me growing up was crash yeah but we were yeah we would like it but we're not reporting on it as news we're reporting that it's not news yeah um, I, i'd like to see um new uh remake tomb raider they've already done that no no like, like not the first one but like, like a yeah, remaster rather like, than a reboot yeah yeah uh, like um well they did do a re- not a remaster but like a reinterpretation yeah, of the yeah. first one mm. But uh, you know, you know me. You like, know, I want to see number four redone. Yeah, yeah, sure. like, that was that, moves, was, but that was the best Tomb Raider game ever. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and another thing that I that one thing people were saying is that if you put in the the Spyro cheat, yeah. So there's there's a there's a a code that you can enter in the um, menu screen of Crash Bandicoot Warped on PS One that then gives you a playable demo of Spyro because it was like the first game was about to re- be released, so it was like a little teaser for it and apparently if you enter it on the insane trilogy home screen um there's like two options that can be highlighted and it highlights nothing so it's like saying as if it's supposed to be highlighting some other third thing that hasn't been put in the game yet um (laughs) i tried doing that and if you haven't seen the crash bandicoot insane trilogy home screen it's all three games and you can switch between them so when you press left right it hits over to crash 2 then back to crash 3 again so it didn't work for me um but even if it is what a weird way to like signpost (laughs) that there's a new spyro (laughs) yeah well should we move on to our second story and um you can, uh, while I change the old graphic <coughs> Roonies, mm-hmm. and um, Nick does a wee cough. A wee coffee cough? Uh, um, a cough. Uh, do you want to introduce the second? Yeah, so this is soda. actually our first um, watcher suggestion. She actually bought this for me. This is from my friend Denise. Uh, this is spicy plum juice. No, yeah. sour plum juice. Yeah. Give, it a, give it a good shake. Give it a good, a good old sour shake. Plum juice. Sour plum juice. That doesn't sound too plum bad. juice. Like it's, it doesn't first, sound like um, anywhere near as bad as the ranch dressing. Like. No, but people aren't going to click on a video that says plum juice and Spyro <laughs> for PS4. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. What's the third one? The third drink or the third story? Third drink. Boy, you wait and see, mate. All right, I'm going to pull one out for my boy. Mm-hmm. Stevie Ryan is actually a girl. Um, she committed. She was a YouTube star who committed suicide at the age of 33. So. Yeah, Ex girlfriend is... of um, Drake Bell. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I saw something about him um, being Robin or Nightwing or something, eh? Oh, I hope that? not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be he, so he, silly. He, 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 posted, he tweeted something that either implied that he's been picked to be Nightwing or that he In wants, a desperate that he wants to stay to, relevant. Or that he wants to be Nightwing. Oh, everyone wants to I mean, to he, he's voice acted a lot of superheroes. So. And what will um, most definitely be a mix of plum juice and ranch dressing, I <laughs> salute to you guys. It smells like As we talk about our next story. Oh. That's worse. No, it's not. Ugh. Does it taste like it's got dust in it? It doesn't. But it does have a dusty taste to it. I know what you mean. Like, kind of like something that your grandma would pour out for you? <laughs> oh, that's... That, that something develops. Else. It's, okay, oh. it's definitely not sour. Yeah, it's not sour. It's... No. But it does... It does... This is taking my tongue on an adventure. These flavours are changing, and it's not a fun adventure. It's not a good adventure. Would anybody like some more? It's oh. like... Prune juice or something. Yeah. Yes, it's totally prune juice with, with like a, a bit of caramel. Oh, okay. Caramel. I don't yeah. taste the caramel. Um, I'm trying to get rid of it all. No, you know what it tastes like. Well, we'll say plums, but fruit in general that has like fallen off the tree and landed on mm. like the tarmac and then warmed up in the mm. summer heat. I ate that all the time. 
All right, so this week, new sure plot details have emerged for the sequel to last year's Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. The latest entry in the Harry Potter universe began filming this week, and with the commencement announcement, new plot details have been confirmed. The film will take place in 1927, a few months after the end of the first film. Johnny Depp's Grindelwald has escaped and is at large, and the only one who might be able to stop him is the wizard he once called his dearest friend, Jude Law's Albus Dumbledore. The main cast of the film will be returning, as well as director David Yates and screenwriter J.K. Rowling, who has been who has promised a different feel for the Paris set film. The still as of yet untitled film is due for release next year on November 18th. All right, what do we think they're going to call it? I, sorry, I just want to backtrack here. First off, I was so confused when Johnny Depp appeared at the end of the first one. Yeah, it was strange. Yeah. Secondly, Jude Law is Dumbledore. Mm, that's co- I like that. I think that's good casting. Okay. You don't? <laughs> Who would you have I cast? I think I've always... I know he's not a, like a B-grade actor, but like I have always connected him as, as being a B-grade actor. Maybe it's because I saw him in that terrible like film, um, August Rush. Oh, yeah. You liked August Rush when we it, were kids. I but I was like a kid, yeah. Me and Nick are brothers, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if that was mentioned or comes across or is obvious. I, didn't, I thought, you know, I didn't want to... I didn't Just want have the, cries of Nick. have nepotism. the same last name. Um, no, but... Like, yeah, but with the same but last it was a, name it was a very, Jones. I, I liked the movie as a kid, but it was a very low-budget sort of mm. film. And mm. so now whenever I think of Jude Law, I think of him as like a low-budget actor. And I know he's not. So it seems like a weird choice for me. Yeah. So, yeah, what do, you, what do we think they're going to call it? Fantastic Beasts 2. And where two find them. Where two find them. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of calling it Fantastic Beasts and... How to find them. How to find them. You know, like that's... People get that so confused. Fantastic Beasts that have been found. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Fantastic Beasts. Here they are. Here here (laughs) they are. Surprise. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, like... Tell us, if you're watching, please tell us what you would call a Fantastic Beast 2 and if you're excited about it as well. Yeah, and if you enjoy the first one. Because did you guys enjoy it? Because I, if, if it was the pilot of a TV show, I'd be interested in the, watching the rest of the series. But because it's a movie, I expect a different sort of standard. Mm. And I was like a little bit like, eh, on it. Yeah, it's, it's I, watched, I, I did watch it and I did enjoy it. Um, but it didn't leave any lingering memory. Mm, yeah. I think that's a really good way to describe it. I sort of thought, like, it came out in 2016, and we were starved for good movies in 2016. I mean, yeah. like, oh, yeah. so I think when I saw it, I was like, this is good, but in the scale of good movies in 2016, good blockbusters, I should say, um, I would tentatively put Rogue One at one end and Suicide Squad at the other. And Fantastic Beasts is in the middle, but nothing's between Fantastic Beasts and Rogue <laughs> <Yeah>. One. <laughs> so you're talking about like blockbusters. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it was like the second best blockbuster of the year, but it still wasn't that good. Yeah, and then Rogue One's not even like a yeah. 10. Yeah, yeah. So what does you that say like about Rogue Fantastic Beasts? Oh, it's not, it's not a 10. Like, if you put that up against uh, Wonder Woman. I yeah. haven't haven't seen like, it. Like, like... I need to. If Rogue One had come it. out this year, it would be the second best blockbuster kind mm. of thing because Wonder mm. Woman... Yeah, yeah. It's it, like Rogue One was at the top, but it's there are it's easy to be better than it kind of thing. Or it's, it's not easy, right, you know. Right. Uh, Fraser Thompson suggests Fantastic Beasts and Where Three Find Them, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tyler Braley suggests Fantastic Beast Wars. Oh, nice. oh that's a, that would be a crossover. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had that Armadillo Beast War guy when I was a kid. eh? was what's Beast Wars? Do you not remember Beast Wars? It was like a Transformers oh, oh, sort there of was, thing. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, and yeah I totally. Had, I had the, like, Armor, Armor, Dillo yeah. character yeah. as an action figure, and then, like, I don't know, Mum didn't like the show or something, and she threw it out in the trash, I think. And, <laughs> shout out, out Mum, if you're watching. And then, and then I remember digging through the trash can trying to find it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, Actually, I have to have to say, I don't know if Mum threw it out or not. But <laughs> that's that's what I, I remember. It. Slander. Looking through the trash. Lies and it. slander. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I vaguely remember that. <laughs> Do you know how old I was when I realised that an armadillo wasn't an armadillo? And I think it might have been because of that toy. Like I just assumed armadillo. Oh right, okay. Was because they had armor. So what on. you thought the real life version was just a dillo? No, I didn't. No, I thought the real life version wasn't armo armor dillo. I thought that was how you spelt it. Armadillo. Oh, wait, how do you spell it? A R M A O. Yeah, armadillo. Yeah. 
I could be wrong. My, my, well, my apparently life, I found my out before you. My life has just changed. <laughs> so, um, so no, a, 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 I thought it was uh, A. a, a is it derived a, from... If you know how to spell like armadillo, armadillo, please send us a comment. Maybe. Um, what do you guys think of... of <laughs> so that they have, <laughs> they have um, confirmed five Fantastic Beasts yeah, sequels. before they even five. released the first yep. one. Yeah. Well, four. So there'll be Wait, five Wait, is this going to be a transmedia thing? No. No, nah, but Jack I know you want it to be. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I want to talk about transmedia a, and why so much Hollywood yeah. transmedia attempts fail. But it's, I I'm sorry, it I wish it was. Transmedia. It's not. <laughs> if the intro- news about transmedia comes up another week, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. we'll get you on the horn. Um, yeah, but it's just J.K. Rowling trying to stay relevant. I think. Do you reckon she yeah. doesn't I, need to though? She's I know, but she, rich. Like every time, and um, she's relevant enough when she rips Trump out on Twitter. Oh, like, uh, but like every time she um, like falls out of the limelight slightly, she goes, "Dumbledore's gay." Oh, you remember me, guys? I, I like yeah. that Dumbledore is gay. Like, yeah, but it's the fact that it's like representation, and or like it's, no, but it's Hot not. Watts it's not used tuition. representation. It's right, not what? it's not used. It's not like it was never said explicitly in the show. You could watch show movie series. You could watch all of the Harry Potter movies, and Dumbledore being gay will never. Yeah, be. but it's facts like that. Actually, we're gonna jump into transmedia because <laughs> it's facts like that that make uh, that are what make Harry Potter feel so big and like mm. important to people. Mm. And it's because she she has like pages and pages of notes um, that she wrote like before the books were finished yeah. that it is you know it's a what we call a story bible and it's all about everything that is connected to the world mm. um and dumbledore being gay i would assume would be one of those things that she had in her yeah. journals well i mean dumbledore being gay is, is probably going to come up in the next that's true because yeah, yeah. Grindel, grindelwald the villain is like his former she lover had it planned all along <laughs> um, um yeah i think i think she's probably is trying to stay relevant but i don't know if she's fully conscious of i think she's her despo- desperation syndrome Mm, mm. because mm. harry potter and the cursed child was supposedly um really bad so i didn't read it i i have a copy of it um, yeah my partner bought it for me and i think i got about 20 pages into it but i mean the thing is is it's not fair to judge that on the same level as the books because it's a script yeah and it, i mean i'm, I'm sure, sure you guys sort of know reading a script like mm. is a lot more difficult than yeah than especially reading like story, it was written you know? to be shown on stage and there's yeah liberties yeah that- like okay, it did yeah. well on stage, didn't it? I think so, yeah. I mean, anything mm. with Harry Potter's name on it's going to do pretty well. Mm. Try and introduce something exciting. Sure thing. Uh, before we do that, Maureen Martin <laughs> has commented A R M A D I L L O, meaning that Richard's mum is watching, but ours isn't. <laughs> cool. So. Uh, that one you need to give a good shake. It's got like sediment at the bottom. Oh, God, what is it? We don't have a bottle opener for this one either. <laughs> what is it? Wood apple drink. Oh my gosh, that went changed wood, colour. Yeah. Wood apple. What is a wood apple? Aren't all apples wood apples? Um, never, like they all grow off wood. I've done it. Oh, don't do that. Don't do no, that. No, you don't. You don't. It's <laughs> gonna hack at the table. This will end up on um, fail arm. All right. While, while I unlock this, unlock. Um, tell us the next story. Right, no, next no, story. no. Sorry. Can we just? Sorry, Nick. What? What do you want? What is wood apple? <laughs> like, I'm I'll looking at the picture second. on it, and I've never we seen got this. it. It looks like a, a melon with, like, a walnut inside it. So, we um, last week we mentioned that we got a ginger beer from the Sri Lankan dairy. Yeah. Guess where we got this from? The Sri Lankan dairy? The Sri Lankan dairy. Which I drove by bus pass today and didn't look at what it was called. I think it's called Serendip. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I always do when I encounter something that I don't understand or know about. Spider-Man sequel to be new beginning for the MCU. Um, I'm gonna um, t- tell this story, and while you guys struggle with and finding information or opening a bottle, so <laughs> um, <laughs> are you looking at what Ooh, a wood apple is or what the name of the Sri Lankan dairy is? <laughs> the the wood apple, a species oh, within it. the monotypic genus. Limonia. I've almost got it, guys. Okay, so it's it's part of a. a a mo- whatever this is, a monotypic genus called Lamonia. That sounds like a disease. That does. Like a skin disease that you um, get from being in the sun. You want to pour some out for Yep, so I'm going to pour some out for my boy Ed Sheeran's Twitter. He um, stopped using it this week due to <laughs> online trolls. It's um. It's still there, don't worry, it's but also, he's not going to be using it. It's also called <laughs> Elephant Apple, which I think is a better name. 
Oh, well, um, actually, no, that kind of sounds like elephant testicles or something. Yeah, it? yeah. Well, you wanna try that? Do you want to try some elephant apples? They're a delicacy. All right. All right. Well, we're cheersing. Oh, oh it smells it smells it. like chai. I haven't tasted it yet. I'm <sighs> suspicious of the smell. Okay. It tastes fine, but the texture threw me off. That, that of all the drinks we've had tonight, that is the one that need that had the most... That's all right. Yeah. That's the most interesting one, I think. Mm. I wouldn't say it's an interesting flavor. It's like, but... yeah, it's like apple <laughs> with um, nice tasting dirt. Mm. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, okay, just, so just quickly, um, Fraser Thompson says, "Do you do, can you do your next show from the Sri Lankan dairy? No, <laughs> probably not. It's a berry. It's not even an apple. Oh. Wow, that's misleading. Um, and Maureen Martin has commented once again and says, looks like you need a decent bottle opener. Thank you, Maureen. <laughs> we do. We did last week. Yeah, I, I, I changed my pants. <laughs> and, and so I left my, my key. This is grassroots, everybody. Um, this is, this right, is public so access television. Details have emerged about Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe during the press tour for today's release of Spider-Man Homecoming. Head of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, announced that the sequel to Homecoming will take place mere minutes after the end of the still-untitled Avengers 4. He went on to say that Avengers 4 is the culmination of a 22-film story arc and that Homecoming, uh, the Homecoming sequel is going to be the start of the next story. Many believe that this is due to the fact that the contracts for Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, and Chris Hemsworth are all coming to an end. Avengers 4 is slated for May of 2019, while the Homecoming sequel comes out two months later in July. How are there 22 films? Was it 22? Ooh. Yeah. How? Well, what? there aren't yet. They're Can going you- to be. Well, what are they? Because I can only think of like three. You, you can remember them like how you remember um, the names of all the planets or like the scales on a recorder. Like what, every good like boy a, deserves fudge. It's like what that. What's that called? A uh, mnemonic, mnemonic, mnemonic device. device. Yeah. There's got a I. What's after? I, I, T, C, A. You're <laughs> I'm really wrong. pretty sure the no. mnemonic device has to make a word. Yeah. I like, I could probably sit here and list all of them, but. Why? Why yeah. would we do that? Do you guys want to talk about most of them? The well, most uh, uh, like, okay, let's. I'm going to be up front here and say I do not like Marvel. Why don't you like Marvel? I don't like... Well, I just don't like superhero movies in general, I think, um, with the exception of Spider-Man. That's probably the only one. And ironically, that's Marvel, isn't it? (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. Oh, I do like Batman. But Batman, I am uncertain about classing that as a superhero movie because it's so, like, dark and gritty a lot of the times. Um, But I just find superhero movies too camp. There's too many of them. They're all about the same thing. And I don't know, they're just boring. Interesting. I think I think you're not alone in thinking that, and we sort of touched on this last week, that with the <clears> likes <throat> of Deadpool and Logan I like coming Deadpool, up, actually. is that they're changing things, and, and that's for the better. Yeah. And that's why I think, in my opinion, this is good news, that, that Tom Holland's Spider-Man sequel will be a start of a new... Not even phase, because they've already been through phases. Like a new season for Marvel. Mm. And I think it's cool because how different would it be to go from Iron Man as like your your leader to Spider-Man as your leader? I know it's not necessarily saying that, but I've, yeah. I, it, Iron Man's the main character in the Avengers. Yeah, like yeah, like it would be such a drastic change to go from like uh, a middle-aged straight white male to a slightly younger straight white male. <laughs> like the diversity. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. he straight? Oh, no, it was, it was um, Andrew Garfield that was saying, he argued oh, yeah, he was why Spider-Man one. can't be gay. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. yeah. And and I saw Huffington Post put out an article today saying that he's a, a gay man that doesn't sleep with men. <laughs> Been there. <Post>. <laughs> Just, yeah, we'll let you look up that. <laughs> um, but why yeah. can't Spider-Man be gay? I guess well, uh, my, I like my, my, my answer, my yeah, answer to that is... if it's Tom Holland. <laughs> my answer to that is he could be but my my answer to why not if you were to ask me why not would be because his love interests are so like tied integrally to his storylines but you could just change that like it's mm. not just make them trans- Gavin Stacey. transgender yeah. or something ben Gavin, stacy Gavin and stacy is like a show isn't it uh, no i yeah. don't know yeah, you're thinking sure. of dharma and greg no i'm pretty you're sure thinking of halt gonna, and catch my mom's gonna comment and be like yeah Gavin and, uh, Gavin and stacy is a show not yet one. Maureen, if you're out there. Yeah, well, because of the delay, you just wait. <laughs> She's got my back. Um, <laughs> your mum's not even watching. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Statistically, there are more of her kids on the show, <laughs> and she's the one parent not watching. Yeah. So, is dad watching, like making no, stupid, no. stupid comments? No. Um, I wish. I'd take it. 
So, the Marvel Universe. Is it going to go forever? Yes. <laughs> no, please, no. I don't know. It'll be... They'll do... Um, the Godzilla thing of, of taking planned breaks after a certain point. Mm. I think. You know you know what I miss, though, is I miss the list of blockbuster movies for a year being diverse. Because now it's like, you think of blockbuster movies for a year, and they're all superhero movies. Like, not necessarily Marvel, but one, it's always like superhero movies. And I'm like, there's nothing for me to watch at the theater. One anymore. kind of good thing about that, though, is that like it's now, especially with like Star, Star Wars and Deadpool were the two big ones. So Deadpool came out in February, Star Wars came out in December. And it was like, you can never release a blockbuster that far either end of the year. It was always like May to August when you'd be like pushing on either side. But because of these movies and Marvel wanting to fit three in a year without sort of overtaking each other with their, um, with their marketing, um, you've ne- we've now got this huge release of like blockbuster movies. So it's like, it's not like you're having to go to the movies every week in July. You can... Mm go through it. with movie prices these days i know you guys like the, the avenger movies eh? but i like the avengers do you think that outside of the avengers do you think the storytelling is pretty damn lazy a lot of the time yeah a lot yeah. of the time yeah yeah cool. yeah i mean like I, I i love the marvel universe but uh it's it's one of those things that the the as a whole it's better than any of its parts mm. it's impressive yeah more than it is good yeah mm. It's an attempted transmedia franchise. But they're all the same media. Yeah, exactly. That, <laughs> and also they didn't plan them out properly before they started filming them. That's true. Is what I, I hear. They have a lot planned, That's it. Not. I mean, this is the problem with Hollywood. Hollywood is catching on to the whole transmedia thing, but they're still trying to do it on the fly, like in the moment when yeah, yeah. you need to plan it all in advance for it to well, work. All right, no sorry. one's selling tickets planning, are they? No. No, but... They'd I probably agree. sell that, more if that's if they that's did the, that's it. the Hollywood eighty yeah. twenty rule. So yeah. before we move on, um, mm-hmm. do you want to see if we've got any comments? Um, no, none since I last reported. All right. <laughs> How many viewers delay. do we have? Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to start something new this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week we brought you fake news. This week we're bringing a new game. Called, um, this week in history Ooh. so how it's going to work is I'm going to give you guys a notable event that, that celebrates anniversary this week and I'm going to get you to give me the year that it occurred um, however many years you are off or if you're correct um, how many years are you are off uh, correlates to points whoever has the lowest amount of points at the end wins and the loser will be drinking Daffy oh god are they ranch dressing are they in relation to any particular topic so they're all pop culture pop culture pop culture so oh man i just uh it. not all or music or no for there's some music some tv and... <laughs> <coughs> okay all right and um we've got a scorekeeper off to the side um shoot who will not be mentioned or named <laughs> um all right who wants to go first uh i'll go first yeah. all right oh jeez um, i'm the guest okay well you looked at me like i don't want to go first <laughs> uh larry david celebrated his birthday on july 2nd what year was he born oh um Who's Larry David? A uh, creator of Seinfeld and Kirby Enthusiasm. Okay, I'm okay, going to say... Just 1953. 1953? Yeah. You're six years off. It was 1947. Wow, he's okay. old. So that's six to AJ. <laughs> Are they oh. all going to be questions like this? Oh, a little bit. Oh, all right. Um, uh, sorry, I just deleted one of my answers. Um... <laughs> Okay, um... Well, I guess I'll make this one up. <laughs> when um, was I born? <laughs> okay, um, here's one for you. Uh, Nick? Uh, Elvis recorded his first single um, a certain number of years ago this week. What year did he do that? Oh, God. Elvis. When was Elvis around? He protested the Vietnam 2000s, War. Early 2000s. <laughs> he protested the Vietnam War, so Vietnam War was like the... 70s. 60s or 70s? 60s, 70s don't give him answers oh, so he's, he's, he's not asking the so, question <laughs> and his first single yeah um 63 it was you uh nine years off it was 1954 no. i was like how long was he around before the vietnam war <laughs> all right um aj mm. the uh John Lennon and Paul McCartney met for the first time at the ages of 16 and 15. What year? Um, 1960. 
1960, you are three years off. It was 1957. Oh, I'm going to have to drink this. <laughs> How many <laughs> questions the, are there? You're the one with the block um, nose. <laughs> yeah, but I've also got the There's crazy There's six stomach. each plus a tiebreaker. Alrighty. Um, the bikini was first revealed. The bikini. How is this pop this, culture this related? It's, a, it's pop culture. That's it's fashion. Fashion. Yeah, fashion. fashion. It's fashion pop culture. Pop culture. Yeah. It's not inter- Well, I guess it could be entertaining to some people. Um, so the, the bikini, bikini was revealed. What year? 1957 57 you are 11 years off 1946 i was gonna say in the same 40s. year that i was gonna say the 40s, 40s but i was like no they're too oh. much that they would be too prudish in the 40s yeah what does the first bikini look like it's just a <laughs> potato sack <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly all right um this is not a fun one but um <laughs> That's that's exactly um, what you want to hear. A fourteen-year-old right? Drew Barrymore attempted suicide. What year? Nineteen ninety-one. Nineteen eighty-nine. Ah, oh. very close. Um, if you know the answers to my questions, please comment them, uh, and I'll <laughs> stall for how fifteen far was seconds. Up, Two years. So, um, all right, Nick, here's one. Um, <laughs> Dolly the sheep was cloned. Oh, what? <laughs> How is that pop culture? That's pretty important. That's science. <laughs> yeah, that's you science have no idea culture. what pop culture is, do you? Uh, the clone, Dolly the Sheep. Wait, is that the... No, that was Shrek the Sheep was the New Zealand Shrek's pop sheep, culture. Eh? Well, yeah, but we're not talking about Shrek, are we? Dolly the Sheep. Can, Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Who are you going to phone? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's what you need. You need, like, those sort of... Phone friend, fifty fifty. Oh, you can Ask find a audience. friend if you want, Nick. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, Dolly the sheep. I don't know. Eighty um, one. Eighty one. Oh, it was nineteen ninety six. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it had to be after the seventies because. Um, so what was right. that? How far off was I then? Like twelve. Fifteen years. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, I've AJ. lost already, haven't I? <laughs> I could get this spectacularly wrong. Okay. Um, uh, the BBC broadcasted its first news bulletin. 19... Um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, 1939. 39, it was 1954. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, you did get that spectacularly wrong. Wait, right. so how many years was that? I'm terrible at math in case you haven't noticed. We both are. It's a brotherly thing he said 1939 no it was 19 uh he's actually sorry he said 1901 <laughs> <laughs> i said 1847 <laughs> um you said what did you say you said 1939 39 it was 54 yeah um so uh okay so who's winning now um is it still alex no, we'll, Why don't you just we'll do it like if whoever got it closer and then? Okay, yeah. Should we do that for the rest? Of, let's throw out everything that's happened. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> sorry. You do. Wait, what? You you. No, what's happening? Okay, are we just continuing as usual? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I assume that's so. actually a better idea. I mean, you're running the show. Whatever you want to do. Two, three, hey, you know, you can't change the rules halfway through. Um, I mean, well, you, unless you, unless I have a better chance of winning. Try to throw out all the points that have happened up until now. And no, <laughs> I don't want to do well, that. Hang on, okay, hang on. Okay, okay, can we just throw out his so points? Get, Nick, do you want to? So we could do, we could throw out all the points that have happened so far, and I'll give you an event, and you both give a year, and you just get one point for whoever's closer. Do you want to do that, Nick? I'm game if Alex is game. <laughs> don't put that. But he's but he's shaking. Well, his I don't want to lose. Violently at me. Do, do, can we can we have a look at the scores at the moment? AJ's on twenty six. And next on 35. You can make it up, dude. It's still I could, pretty close. I could get nine years All off All right, easy. let's just leave that okay, as is and next going. time. All right, um, Nick. Uh, best Picture winner, Forrest Gump, was released. Oh, I know this one. Uh, 97? 1984. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro, Forrest I'd, Gump. All right. Um, I'm sure I was older than four years <laughs> when Forrest Gump came out. Um, AJ, John Logie Beard uh, demonstrated the first colour television broadcast. In New Zealand? No, uh, no either. He's a Scottish guy. Uh, 1950. 
1928. What the hell? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Colour? Yeah. Was colour around in the 1920s? The, the, the first time they said we can do colour. It's like how the internet was around in like the 60s. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Well, possibly this is getting interesting. Then, right? It's um, not pop culture, it's freaking technologies. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Back to the Future saw its release. Oh, Back to the Future? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I'm probably going to get this wrong and he'll hate me for it. Um, no, get it wrong. Uh, back to the Future... The disc is up there on the wall. Can I see the the date? There's actually a lot of Back to the Future merch <laughs> around here, but um, I don't know if the, the year is in. Eighty-three. Eighty-three was. Did you want to say it? It's 1985. It was released. Oh, I'm not too bad then. Yeah, I knew. It, I knew it had All to right, be um, mid to early 80s. AJ, the Johnny Carson show debuted. Oh, uh, Who's Jolly Carson? Johnny Carson. He was Johnny the, Carson. The original host of the Tonight Show. Oh, he wasn't even the original host. He was. So when did he take over the Tonight Show? 1967. <laughs> 1955. <laughs> That's not too far. Um, all right, I've got two more. Um, Plan 9 from Outer Space was released. I should know this because I used to be a bit of an expert in my old horror movies. <laughs> um, Plan 9 from Outer Space, who did that? Was that Edward? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Trying to remember from the Johnny Depp movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it was black and white times. Um, Not necessarily. Maybe it's I just mean, colour sty- came out in 1920. Stylistic choice, perhaps. Didn't necessarily. No, no, no. I'm not talking about when. The, we're not talking about when the movie Edward came oh. out. Yeah, no, yeah. When, we're talking. When, it, wait, what, I, what are we, is the question again? When did Plan Nine from Outer Plan Space? Plan Nine from Outer Space came out. Uh, 1923. 1959. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm God. back in. <laughs> All right, um, and so this one I think I is know all about gave, old horror movies. I gave you the first one. Eh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So okay, I've got one more, and we'll, you'll both get a score from it. Um, okay. So Lindsay Lohan celebrated her birthday uh, on July second. Um, what year was she born in? Any answer from are we both answering? Yeah, this? both answer. Is it a, whoever answers first? Or? Uh, no, I mean you can use the same answer. Uh, Nineteen. 19- Nineteen eighty eight. Nineteen eighty eight, AJ? I'm gonna say nineteen seventy nine. It was nineteen eighty six. Oh she's not that old. <laughs> she could be she's, forty. She's only <laughs> she's only slightly older than me, I think. I so. thought maybe that and then I was like, um, nah, she's she's like thirty eight. <laughs> okay, so um as we're just tabulating the final scores, um that's it for this week in history. I'm gonna get rid of Oh, it's not even that that's not even it. It's the game's still technically going. Um results. <laughs> 67 for Alex. 78 oh. for Nick. Oh. Oh, oh. You make me. Do I have to scull this? Drink up, brother. Do I have to scull it? I'm, if I'm puking, I'm puking on your microphone. Don't just, puke. Don't puke on the floor, man. <laughs> I don't care well, about this. Cord. <laughs> There's so much in here. There is you a have lot. to drink all of it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll tell you immediately the ranch dressing comes through the <laughs> We can actually distill it with more um, plum juice if you want. No. I you don't want to do that? I don't want there being any more liquid in here than there is. <laughs> All right. It's a calculated decision. Do, you want me, do I need to narrate this? Uh, well, we'd like some. Th- oh, some yeah. Thoughts. But lean forward but a bit while, forward while, while, while you're doing it. Okay. okay, so on the nose, mm-hmm. I can't smell anything because I have bought nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can smell the vinegar from the ranch. So that's, <laughs> that's a bit out. So a vinegary, vinegary nose. Very um, cloudy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you know what it tastes like? Mm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. In fact, I love the, they this is actually. <laughs> in a way, this is better than. Wow. Than all. Th- it's th- the Marvel universe. <laughs> like no, no, like seriously the. The the ranch was terrible. Yeah. The plum it was, ugh. and then the, the wood apple was just kind of weird, right? Mm-hmm. So you mix them all together. <laughs> you can't differentiate the worst points out of any of them. Right. So it's not as bad as them individually. Mm. Interesting. 
Well, that's what I'm telling myself, at least. That's it for uh, this week in history. Oh. Um, so, I might just chuck up the. Oh, so okay. people... no, there it is. I would drink from it um, yeah, to be in solidarity, well, but. I don't want you to get sick. Oh, no, I just don't want to. Oh. It's got nothing to do with me um, getting sick or not. <laughs> that's Soda Pop Shift for this week. Uh, mm. Nick, have you got anything you want to plug, or. Where can oh, people find you? Do I need... Oh, uh, I Where guess... do you live? Where do I live? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I. I don't know. If play you... Path of Exile. Yeah, play. That's a good one. There you go. Um, I I've just about finished writing um, the new expansion for the. I think it's an award-winning video game. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely. You should probably know it's that. got like <laughs> well, it's got sixteen million registered um, players. It gets at the the, it gets my so award. If, it, if yeah, it else. gets my award. But anyway, uh, Path of Exile: Fall of Oriath um, is. Uh, coming out uh, fairly soon, I believe, um, at some point in the next month or two, I think. Um, and so anyone who hasn't played it, um, it is a online MMO RPG, kind of like Diablo, if you've played that. Um, if you've already played it, then play it again, because uh, all the new acts that are coming out, I um, wrote. So yeah. Awesome. So, thank you very much for coming on Nick um, um, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> yeah, cool. keep, an, right. keep an eye out on our um, SoundCloud and possibly our YouTube page for oh, uh, something special coming it. tomorrow what, um, a, what a content oh. Oh, oh boy that's some content um, nom, 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 next week nom, nom, nom. we're going to be having another special guest star mm-hmm. as of yet undetermined mm-hmm. um, I was we, worried you were going to announce their name and I was like <laughs> <laughs> not yet <laughs> uh, wait who is it I'll tell you yeah, after. No. Uh, just yeah, we, just we don't know. In my <laughs> Sam Neil. <coughs> you, you'll be like... He's going to plug his, his grapevine. You have to bring a spare <laughs> pair of panties out. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Sam Neil. I feel like I had something else to wrap up, but I've forgotten that and now I'm just stalling. Um, That's okay. We've got to go to Spider-Man. Yeah. So I'm going to end live video. Bye. Oh, I don't think it worked. Bye. If you end it on the... If he ended on the stream on the other thing first, it might be. I swear better. to God, Richard. <laughs> is it still going? It is still I going. I swear to God, Richard, turn it off. <laughs> it's still going. Hold I need on, to sneeze. <laughs>